So we're going to start by priming our lid with concealer. You can use any kind of concealer. This is the Tarte Maracuja Oil one or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, Kat Von D's palette. Don't know the name of it, but I do know that we're going to use these two colors out of it to create this super awesome rustic um, Tuscan brick house look going on on my eyelid. I don't know. I just thought of like a real cute like italian house when i was looking at my eyelid just now anyways put the brown down blend it out nothing has to be perfect you guys know my makeup is never perfect because i'm not perfect you know nothing's perfect so blend it out and then put the orange right in the center of your eye and just kind of like do your thing with it um i like eyeshadow like this i like it where it's just kind of like a pop of color and it's like real smoldery Now we're going to take concealer and just clean up everything and cover up any imperfections that we have. I love this concealer, guys. I swear by it. It's so good. And I'm not even sponsored by them, but I just love it. And now I'm highlighting before I put on my foundation or my um, tinted moisturizer, whatever it is. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the, the more frostier highlight palette she came out with a couple years ago I forgot the name I'll put it down below and I'm just highlighting underneath my foundation it just helps it seep through and look kind of more seamless but what I'm using as a foundation today the glossier skin tint is like not you know it's not the most covering foundation so it's already sheer in itself so the highlight does a really good job at peeking through this veil or foundation I have on but now I'm just gonna set everything with my Fenty setting powder which I'm running out of. And now I'm highlighting on top of what I've already highlighted just so it, you know, is extra glowy and I don't know. I just love this highlight technique. It really works for me and it works for my skin type. I'm gonna use a bronzer as a blush because I feel like I'm just sticking with those earthy tones for this look. So yeah, we're going with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil on our cheeks and we're just gonna like warm it up, blend it out, make it look cute, all that. And now I'm just going to make my eyebrows a little more defined and darker. I've been really into my eyebrows lately. I've been doing a good job after I cleaned them up and stuff. I told you guys. I know what I'm talking about talking shit about my eyebrows for years but look at them now honey look at them anyways now we're putting on natural by NYX my favorite lip brand and we're going to take I think this is 1993 by Stila and just pat that on your lip don't ever drag your look look at my lips look at what I do with my lipstick I do this in public too and it's so embarrassing but anyways never drag the lipstick across your lip just kind of like dab it on and now I'm taking Stockholm and putting that on top just to kind of like you know stay true to my roots adding a little more bronzer because I'm feeling a little ghostly right now boo but look how cute this came out I'm like super proud of the what was that I'm really proud of this bites uh clear not clear gloss but like a nude gloss on top I don't know it always works but this is actually an Origins Mist Lotion. I put it in a Mario bottle because it sprays better, but look at that drip. That was crazy. That was so crazy. But yeah, this is my rustic look. I actually really like this, and I'm really proud of this look because it looks like how it looks in photos in person. Ha <laughs> ha! Love it! I hope you liked it and enjoyed my tutorial. Love you guys. Be back soon, babe.